Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I will show you how to make this cool text animation in the first part of the video I show you how to create the animation in Cinema 4D and the bonus part of the video I show you how to edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Then let's get started Art Invaders. First search for MoText. Under the menu item object, you can set a font of your choice. I choose the font M is Doom Right. Under text you can write a term of your choice. I choose Sorry. At height I choose 200 cm and at horizontal spacing 25 cm. Under depth I choose 2000 cm. I also set subdivision to 100, so that the animation will be smooth later. Then we go to the menu item caps. For bevel shape we set round and for size 12 cm. We also increase the segments to 14. Finally we set a check mark at bevel outside. At caps type we select regular grid and at size we select 5 cm. Then we search for form. With the help of the deformer the 3D object is now animated. To get a perfect loop, we look at how many seconds the start and end point is the same. In this case it is at 2 seconds. Therefore we shorten the animation to this length. Finally we look for subdivision surface. Now we come to the material. Double click to create a new material. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and then add and insert a new Beckman layer. Set the value of specular strength to 0%. The first material is ready, you can drag it onto the text. Now select sky at the top of the bar. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material. Drag it onto the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose an old graphic of mine. At Patreon you can find the complete project file, I link you to the account in the caption. Now we come to the render settings. Press the button with the cogwheel in the top bar. Under render or select physical. Choose a suitable format and select frame range all frames. So that we don't see the sky during rendering. We have to set the following three hooks under save. So that we get the file later with a transparent background, we have to save the animation after rendering as PNG. That's it, the animation is ready to render, in the next part of the video I will show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Please note. I use basic effects in Adobe After Effects, there are no plugins. Some effects are in English in Adobe After Effects and some are in your native language. I don't know what's the reason is, but you can try to search for the effect in your languages, if you can't find the effect I use. By double clicking in the layer window you can paste the finished PNG sequence into Adobe After Effects. It can happen that the graphic is displayed darker than it is. This is caused by the gamma value. To fix this problem search for color and gamma conversion in the effects window. Under gamma conversion select linear to sRGB. Then look for the effect hue slash saturation. First I change the color on the wheel. There I choose minus 70. After that you select the value 30 under master saturation. Now we add a background. For this we go to the layer window and press with the right mouse button on it and go to new, then solid. 
we select with the eyedropper the black tone from the animation. Then we set the blending mode of the animation to lighten. After that we search for the effect glow height lights. There we set pre blur to 4 and glow mix to 24. Finally we search for the effect turbulence displace. We set the slider to the beginning of the animation and enter 0 for amount and press the clock to set a keyframe. Then we go to the middle of the animation and enter 50 for amount. Finally we move the slider to the end of the animation and enter 0 for amount. Now I work with overlays. First I put a star animation and move it behind the animation. Then I set the blending mode to add. After that we press the key P to animate the position. I set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation. Then I move the slider to the end of the animation and move the position down, so it looks like the text is flying upwards. After that I put a text over it and search for the effect in to adjust the color. Finally I put a destroy overlay and set the blending mode to lighten. The animation is ready, well done Arties, thanks for the positive feedback, as a thank you I will create 4 videos per week this month. Do you have any other suggestions for what I should do next? Or have you always wondered how other artists have created an animation? Feel free to send me your ideas or inspiration on Instagram or TikTok as a direct message. If you have any questions about the tutorial, post them in the comments. I will answer your questions as soon as possible. If you want to support me as an artist, feel free to check out my Patreon. I also sell my art and tutorial graphics as NFT on OpenSea. You can find the link on my channel page. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.